last stream I did. Anyway, uh, let's play some Red Black Sacrifice. So this is my take on... This card shouldn't be here. Sorry. This is my take on Red Black Sacrifice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. It is a ton. All right, so we have a bunch of one mana things that are kind of aggressive and are cool to sacrifice. Then we have essentially eight ways to sacrifice things and ways to uh, pay it off uh, in this thing. Wait. Wasn't... I feel like I'm missing something, and it's annoying me. I'm really good today. Thank you for no one for asking. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I think this is good. Let's just try this. It's it wants to play a bunch of creatures that when they die, bad stuff happens to the opponent, and then it plays a couple ways to actually sacrifice them. So let's go and get it. Let's do the thing. Red black sacrifice. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh... So the reason the deck was a little off, both decks that I've played so far, is uh... I'm going to keep this anyway. Like the cards are really good, so the the lands coming in tapped is pretty annoying but so i typically use stream decker to do all my stuff but it won't load like it straight up just is not loading my page for me so oh they didn't play a creature oh i got an untapped land oh life is good life is good we got to hit with dread horde butcher on turn three. Oh yes Boo. Boo this man. It's okay. We have priests, so we can just bloop. Get them. All right, we'll this uh, they have this to, to that's annoying. So I'm gonna play this out. Target you, and then sacrifice these two things. Let me get to draw a card. Oh, it amasses, so I don't get two one ones. I just get a two two, which is cool. That's cool too. All right. Well, if our stuff dies, a lot of damage is is pinging. I guess. Hostage taker, rude. What are they taking? Priest. No. Dreadhorde. Dreadhorde. You can't have Dreadhorde. This is this is my problem with this card. Like when I saw it, I was like, it's never gonna be able to do much, is it? Um Alright. Well this isn't attacking through anything. Alright, oh, you. So let's let's draw a card, see what we get. Uh, not a whole lot. Oof, not a good start. Not a good start. All right, they can do that. Um I 
Yeah. Yeah, that scans. Okay. It's okay. Let's uh, bring in... Some, uh, most of their removal is creatures, so let's just bring in removal. And... Cut this thing. Not doing a whole lot here. And cut a one drop, I guess. I'm so used to Illuminate from Hex that, like... A mass feels really weird to me. It's like, oh, oh, you can't go wide then tall. You have to always do the one thing. Okay. This hand's a bit better. We have a curve. We have, we have a payoff. Okay. Getting in some punchies. I mean, just doing eight damage over the course of turns two and three is pretty good. Oh boy. These is five, two, four, seven, five is twelve. I'm going to let them tap out for something and then just kill them. Perfect. Target a creature, player, or planeswalker. You. Sacrifice a creature. This one. Submit one. It deals one damage to you. Oh, and that deals one damage to you. Woo! That was super lethal. You're dead. Nice. That is much better. Just out of nowhere. You dead. It's the goblin grenade I, I always wanted. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Uh, Goblin Grenade is stupid. This card is good. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. Uh, this one. This one. Say go. Being on the draw is pretty brutal in this deck, though. Don't play a two-drop. Oh, they play Thought Erasure, sure. I have two copies of the two cards I want to play next turn, so that's fine. That's the one card I actually didn't really want to play. I am here to punch face. Watch me as I race. Punchy, punchy, punchy the face. Mortifying. All right, take two. Oof, that mortify wasn't really that good, huh? Yeah, we got there. Cool. I like when we get there. Ooh, what do we get in the pack? What do we get in the pack? Tulsimir. Whenever a wolf creature you gain three life and that creature fights. Tulsimir is interesting because there's also the planeswalker that makes wolves and puncture wolves. I don't know if it's good though because this is what five mana and the planeswalker is six if I remember correctly. So. Trug. 
Who knows? Maybe we'll see a lot of wolves in the next set or two. You know, it's occurred to me that last time this happened, I needed to pop out the chat and then close it and then, okay. Just want to make sure opponent goes first. We can, yeah. Yeah, I think we can keep this. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all this stuff happening when I click. Uh, Grim Initiate. This hand isn't, like, the best, but it's okay. Opponent reading Grim Initiate, because it is a brand new card. It is a 1-1 one, one that when it, with first strike, and when it dies, you amass one. They're going to take this. They're going to take the card that actively kills them. Yep. It's okay, I'll just draw another one. I will just draw another one. And then draw another one. I love the the design on these things. Play a land that they know about. Poke you for one, and then we're gonna play this friend out. They can't gain life. And we'll make a one one. Say go. My hand is um it's full of land, huh? Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, one by one, we shall conquer them with, with little pings. They're so cute! He's right. Alright, we're gonna get this friend back. Oh, not that friend. This friend. I just, I'm just gonna do one damage to you all over the place, I guess. Swing for four. Where do we sit, opponent? Okay. Devils are sort of good here. Liliana. Liliana's good card. If they minus four, Liliana just dies. Like, I'm just going to sacrifice these and throw them at, at her. Okay. When does she ult? Nine. Got time. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use my- I can't use my Planeswalker. It's a minus two. You know, it has one loyalty. Tapped Blood Crypt. Nope, nothing to see here, friend. No, it's okay. Yeah, this just came out today, so... Not, not knowing this one is perfectly fine. And, you know, the overlays aren't working today, so... Ugh. Sure. You can't cast that. Two blockers, you say. Uh, 
so if I swing with three, they go down to five and they can block these. And that's one, two, that's only three. I think I just keep pushing. Like, this is a free block, which is kind of annoying, but... Meh. That's also a free block, I suppose. Um. Yeah? Just gonna go ahead and put lethal out there. Come at me, friend. Lethal in so many ways. Do you concede? Yeah, because I can't ultimate their Liliana yet. So we can't draw more than one card turn. They're digging. Wow, this deck when it gets going is really fast. Okay, so control shenanigans. Um, Hmm. I do like to rest here. I didn't like it so much last matchup. And I kind of like Angrass Rampage as well. Uh, Tybalt, not not so relevant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, maybe cut a couple heart fires. And on the draw, oh, these are all fine. I guess I can, like, cut a couple of those. All right, let's go. This is kind of awkward, but like just a black source and we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. It's probably risky. But we just need like one thing. Is that a good one? Come on, black. That's just rude. Black source. Black source. Uh, that is not a black source. And now they are going to thought erasure me. And I am going to be sad. Because that's typically how thought erasure goes for me. They cast it and I am sad. Yes, look upon my black cards. It's funny if they don't take heart fire. It's like I can't really cast anything. They erase all your happy thoughts. Yeah, basically. It's just, yep. I mean, it could be worse. It could be... Demented Whispers. There, I found it. I knew there was a set of words that would make hex players groan and i just had to remember ha aha you fell into my trap opponent she was on top of my tech all along Sure. 
Our set's interesting. I don't know. I guess because they're digging so much, they want to keep her in, but it's me. It's, it's kind of whatever. Ooh, that's a good one. Is that a good one? That's that's a good one. I mean, it's a good one in so much that, like, I'm having a terrible time drawing lands. Perfect. So, target a creature, Planeswalker. Going to target Narset. Sacrifice a creature. And then I'm going to deal one here. And because it exiles, I don't get to ping with the second one, but I took their entire board down with me, so yeah. Wow, they didn't even minus her, did they? Why are you going to do your girl Narset dirty like that? I I am not drawing anything, opponent. Kill me already. <laughs> uh... All right. That that is a way to kill me. I drew something. I drew a card. Um All right, so I can kill this next turn, hopefully. And just get rid of this. What? You can't. What? He said my schemes have been foiled. My schemes are never ending. Which one is it, bud? Man, if if I round the corner, in this, oh okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was this close. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you pesky bolus walkers. Nope, another removal spell? Is it contempt? Do you want your bolus or not? Tyrant Scorn. Okay. I think we're done here. Alright. Let's let's go to a game where we draw lands and play spells. Um Did I see anything? Kinda wanna do this, since we're on the play. Eddie, what? What is this? What is this magical land I have been invited to? That is a soft white tummy. <laughs> He's so asleep. Just try as you might, I will win in the end. Ah. But I thought that in the end it didn't even matter. Beep, 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 beep. Really? Really with this? I want a third land. I just want a third land. Preferably like a mountain. Mountain would be great. Or not. Whatever. Suit yourself. That card is really good against us, huh? And it keeps drawing them cards. Very frustrating. Alright. So, next turn, we're going to slam Priest, and we're going to get to work. Unless we draw a land, then it's obviously Judith. 
Is it? Is it? I think it is. Now they're going to bedevil Judith, and then they're going to block one of my tokens. Okay, whatever. They kill Judith. Um, so if I ping this, that means they can't block Footlight Fiend, which I kind of like. Like, cause this leaves a body behind, so I'm okay with that. This is not getting through Augur Bullis. Alright, new card alert. Uh, God Eternal Kefnet. Uh, it's a flying 4-5 that says you may reveal the first card you draw each turn, so even on my turn, as you draw it. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery card this way, copy that card and you may cast the copy. That copy costs two less to cast. And then when this dies or is exiled, it goes third down from the top. <sighs> it works like miracle. Like it's worded slightly differently than miracle, but they're essentially updating the miracle text here. Do they reveal? No, they did not. What about this plus, like, Ral and some shenanigans? Uh, why, why, why? Why? I'm just gonna run the no blocks, I guess. And then get swept away. Yep. Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. Okay, it's okay. Poke. This deck may have uh, a similar problem to most of my aggro decks of just, like, once it reaches turn X, whatever that turn may be, you just lose the game. Uh, tap land. Who put tap lands in my deck? It was me. Spoiler alert. I'm going to mulligan this. Uh... <laughs> I said another Grixis opponent Lord that's really good against us huh oh hit the mic sorry All right. Okay. So they have this thing. They're going to be amassing. They have a Thief of Sanity. I kind of like Angrath here. Because I can steal their amass token. Um... Nope. Long spell. Bring in a couple lava coils, just in case they have certain things like that. Uh, call it a day. Play first. Oh my gosh, a keepable hand. I never thought it would happen. 
Never thought this would happen. Uh, Sacrifice the one that I can bring back later. All right, Dread Dreadhorde Butcher has actually connected in a couple games, which is impressive. Certainly more often than I expected it to. I know this is less damage now, but I think over time it's going to end up being more, so don't do it again. Okay. Did not do it again. Good, good, good. Double blocking that. Perfect. Nope. Okay. Double blocking that. Also perfect. No. Single block. Oh, oh, oh. Double block. All right. Well, definitely taking a thing out. I'm going to play this out and say go. Oof a doof a doof a uh -huh, uh -huh. killing that thing, that's for sure. Might just take four here if they attack, like totally fine with that. I have no cards in hand. Ooh, microphone all up in my face, sorry. Sometimes you don't realize just how close you are to the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they play a land, they can flip this thing. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So they can't flip it. It's not in my hand. I don't know what the plan is here. I think this is the plan. <laughs> I, oh, goodness gracious. This might be a short one for this deck. This might be a short one for this deck. Are you okay, bud? Huh, buddy? Okay, uh... Oh! God, that happens all the time. Uh... Got Footlight Fiend. Yeah, we're keeping this. Land of War Elf. It's really good against all my 1 1s, huh? Uh, Tibble. So we're going to kill this. And one of their elves. Uh, 
You thought you were ahead of me, question mark. Oh, please don't play a creature. 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 <gasps> I didn't play a creature. Don't kill it. He just wants to swingy swingy poke poke. He's got a ball on a chain and he just wants to introduce you to it. It's on fire. All it knows is sideways. Well, I've cut them off mana, question mark? I think they have a Jade Light Ranger in hand, but I could be wrong. Because I killed their double green sources twice. Oh, God. By God. All right, well, combo incoming. I guess. I just have so many poopy creatures that they can sacrifice. Yeah, I like this. I'd like to draw one drop. So I can play this, then sacrifice like one of the priests and the one drop. Ooh, if it's Grim Initiate, oh, how much damage is that? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's just land. Counting for no raisin. There's a mehem. No attacks. Nothing to see here, opponent. Raska's Contempt, you say? Um... You... 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 You have no board. And I get to leave up heart fire if they want to kill one of my things. Lord. I just killed their entire board. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Wow. That was impressive. I'm down for that. All right, so yes, and yes. Um, not so much. Well, I think we can cut this on the draw. Right, four, five, nine, sixteen. 
21. 22 is fine. Don't be greedy. I think we go down to 9 one drops on the draw. Maybe cut one heart fire. Alright. Just when I think I'm done with this deck. Oh gosh, what a terrible hand. Oh gosh, what a terrible hand. Oh goodness gracious me. On the draw, <laughs> Gutter Bones is pretty bad, really. Because now they play a 1 3. Yeah. Whoop. Uh. I, I just got it. Mm. I think I can pass and wait a turn. Because if I can manage it, I'd rather sacrifice this to kill it. Perfect. Kill this. Sacrifice this. Ping you. Okay. This is how we got through game one. We just slowly picked away at their resources. But, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Notably, this isn't when a creature dies. It's when they sacrifice a... When anyone sacrifices a permanent. Um, yeah. That doesn't have any text in this. I shouldn't have played that. I should have waited until after combat. I want to target you. Sacrifice this. Ping this. Lord, when this thing gets rolling, it's just like chugga 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 chugga. Yeah, might as well play this out. And next turn we can get our mayhem double back or something. Vivian Reed, woof. Woof. Would you like to see what's left of us? Face you. Right, this costs... Yeah, okay. So I can play this out. And then at the end of their turn, I can get my 3-3 three, three back. Yeah. The wilds, are my shield. the wilds are my shield. Okay, whatever, lady. Oh, please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't. This is weird, but okay. Sure. I guess you kill a gutter bone. Why? They have a way to deal one to everything. Yeah.
This one. Submit one. This kills three or less. Yeah. I don't really have anything to sacrifice here. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get him. We'll get him on the play. We'll get him on the play. It's fine. I feel like I keep saying that. What was? Uh, there's no planeswalker removed. I guess we have like a lot of pingy, pingy poos, but. Play first. Ob. We can keep this. We have turn one, Footlight Fiend, and then turn two, Removal, into this. To deal six off a of hard fire? Jeez. We also just have turn two, Priest. Right, so taking a turn off to just love tap that right away. Detection tower is just so weird to me. Really? Keeping that on top? Huh. Resolves. Mm. If I played this out, I can sacrifice these two, make them sacrifice a creature. That's three pings. I can kill their board here. This, oh, it's four pings? Oh, target any number of players. You. Target. Submit. Sacrifice this friend. This friend. Submit. Gosh, it does so much damage. They're at... What, what is this? This is so ridiculous. No, you don't you don't gain two life, you lose five. I am running low at the moment though. I have one more heart fire or whatever this thing is called. Yeah, heart fire. Just concede opponent. Find. Okay. Come on. Heart fire at the top, one time. How dare. They're gonna kill it, but, you know. That's actually kind of annoying, because it means Heartfire is no longer a lethal draw. I don't have anything that can immediately three out of nowhere. Uh, okay, they, 
Because they're so greedy and they play Detection Tower, they can't play this Jade Light Ranger. Why are you playing Detection Tower? Ugh. Uh, they can play Jade Light next turn, though. Woof. Yeah, that... that uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can play this deck. <laughs> Uh, it has things in it that I think are legitimate, but maybe Mardu is just better, and I should have considered that. Oh well.